So how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. Uh, what do you think about playing basketball in smaller cities like Wyala? Um, I think it's uh, particularly for this time of year for us, as, you know, in our pre-season and um, I guess in particular for the, the Sixers to get out into the community. We've done that in years past in Wollongong and it gives, I guess, young budding sports stars or, or athletes and, and basketballers in smaller towns a look at an opportunity to see you know, players at the highest level play, although they don't get that opportunity unless they go to Adelaide and watch the Sixers play. So it's pretty good that, um, you know, we've come to a community and it's, um, it'll be quite fun, yeah. How do you think the Hawks performed in the Top End Challenge? Yeah, I think we, we played pretty well, um, obviously because we, we won the tournament. But I think, um, you know, not all the teams were showing their cards and not all teams had, you know, their full strength squad. And, and it, it's I guess it's early days as far as some of those teams with their preparation, as, as it was with us, but um, not to take away with anything the way we played, I thought we played really well, but um, you know, as much as the improvement we think we have with ourselves, there's, there's plenty more improvement with those other teams as well when it gets into the real deal. Was there a standout player at the Top End Challenge? Um, oh, I think from, I'll just, from our point of view, I think um, Ty Wayne McKee, our, our new importer, he only had a couple of training sessions with us and I thought that he you know, he adjusted really well to the style of play and, and um, you know, I guess uh, being an import coming in, there was probably a little bit of pressure on him to perform and I thought he did quite well with it. Last season, how did you react when you heard the Hawks were no longer an NBL team? Yeah, it was devastating. It was, um, you know, probably about halfway through last season that was, you know, the, the owners had decided that they weren't going to go on anymore and, and from that point on it was, um, you know, it wasn't looking good and, you know, having played the majority of my career in Wollongong, um, it's uh, you know it was pretty disappointing for that to happen. But you know, thankfully, you know Matt Campbell and his band of merry men and women got the team back on board. Did it surprise you that Matt came and did that? Um, at first, I thought, yep, maybe he's a bit crazy, and a lot of people did. But it didn't surprise me that. Um, you know that he takes on a challenge. I think that that's that's you know if anyone knows Matt, you know he's willing to take on something. And if there is ever going to be a challenge, I think that was probably one of the biggest challenges he'd been faced with himself. And um, you know when he stood up at our end of year dinner and said that he was going to get it back on board, it was it was a long shot. But you know he had a crack at it and he got it done. And there was a lot of things that happened along the way that you know if anyone else was doing it, probably might not have happened. So you know hats off to Matt. And you know thankfully that everything that he did that you know. Personally, I get to you know I get to keep playing basketball in Wollongong, which is pretty good. How was it for you to play in the Olympic squad? Yeah, it was pretty awesome actually. I um, you know I've been with the Boomers for about seven or eight years, and you know that came at a time when you know I thought it was probably going to be my last my last.